Yep. 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 Okay. Hello, everybody. <laughs> I'm so excited because Doriana, Lucia, she has so many names. It's, it's what is what's your full Doriana? Doriana Lucia, Del, Del Pilar Cruz. <laughs> yeah. De Pilar Cruz. Yeah. I know all that. Um, <laughs> Doriana is on the Pigeon Letters design team and has some awesome tutorials. And um, she's going to be, I don't know if you guys can see it. I'm going to um, spotlight it real quick, but then I'll remove it because I want you to see her beautiful face. But we're going to be doing this awesome, awesome uh, symmetrical. I always get this wrong. Is it symmetric or symmetrical? Um, symmetrical. Looks yeah, I, I know. But doesn't that kind of sound wrong? I, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> to me, it's, I mean, English for you is probably uh, everything. Don't, don't ask me because English is not my first language. <laughs> You're like, I don't know. But if you know it's symmetrical, then that tells me for sure, because you had to like go an extra mile to actually learn <laughs> English, whereas like it's my only language. So if I'm getting it wrong, I'm going to trust you more than I trust me. Um, <laughs> symmetrical. We're going to learn an, an awesome symmetrical. It just sounds so weird to me every time. Um, bug in procreate, which I'm super stoked about because it's like eye candy and you can do so much with it. You can see Doriana's looks kind of like a, almost like a watercolory effect that has some really awesome gradients in it. You could also take this. I'm just like talking for you. I'm sorry, but I'm thinking, I'm just like brainstorming. You could also take this and do like folk art with it. I'm obsessed with folk art, especially with bugs. Like that was one of the very first things that I started playing with. Thanks Blanca. She says it's symmetrical. Um, <laughs> uh, when I was doing folk art, it was like the first like creature that other than like shapes and flowers. Anyway, Doriana, hello. Yeah. Thank you for hello. joining us. Tell everybody what we'll be doing today, even though I just did that for you. So um, I don't know if time is going to no. be like on our side, but we are going to be doing box um, using the symmetry tool in Procreate. It saves so much time. I don't I love that tool. They did amazing when they um, put it in Procreate now, but as I said to Peggy before, I'm experimenting too. So I'm trying and I don't know, let's see what we can do. I have some references. We'll be doing um, a butterfly, a bee, or a beetle. You can choose. Oh, you, guys, you, know. <laughs> you guys should choose a beetle. I'm just saying. <laughs> And then you guys should also play with a limited color palette, which I'm sure that Doriana will maybe cover because she's like a wizard at incredible colors. Like her color usage is, is my favorite. <laughs> she knows I'm obsessed with her. Okay. So I am going to, as far, I don't know about you guys and I don't know about Doriana, but when I go live, I don't, there is no such thing as time. And so <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, whatever we're playing. So we're playing, you guys are sticking it here. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and spotlight your, um, demo over your iPad and we can jump in and I'll sort of be quiet. Not really. Oh, it is in spotlight. I just have to change my view speaker view spotlight. Cool. Okay. Nice. Okay. So first we're going to use procreate, as I said, and we are going to start with a new canvas. I always try to go with a Medrest canvas, like 3,800 3, pixels by 2,800 pixels, because that way I can use it and turn it into art prints. It's this one, this. But if you want to use it for Instagram, you can also do a square um, 1080 by 1080 or to 2048. The one that is preset on, on Procreate, it's okay. And then we are going to go to our canvas in our settings and choose drawing guide. That way we're going to see our grid. And then in the edit drawing guide, it's where we are going to find the symmetry tool here. 
Um, we're going to use it the, with the vertical line. It is vertical, right? <laughs> I guess. Um, but there are so many options. You can have horizontal quadrants um, as long as, I don't know, it's multiple choices. But we are going to stick with this one with the vertical line. And in a new canvas, we are going to start our design, our bug. I'm going to grab, I don't know which one did we choose? The beetle, the butterfly? <laughs> no, you do anything. Um, I, think, I don't know if you said it because I was learning how to unmute myself with only a space bar and I did it wrong because I was in the chat and all I was doing was just creating a lot of spaces. But, but I was gonna, <laughs> anyway, um, did you mention, so there's the symmetry tool in Procreate, but then there's the, whether it's actually active or not, which is the assisted drawing. Did you explain oh, that? Yeah, okay. So for every layer we create, we have to choose the drawing assist option. When you um, start a new canvas and put drawing guide, the first layer automatic, automatically, it puts itself in assisted, but every time we create a new layer, you have to choose the drawing assist. That way, everything we do in different layers will be um, mirroring everything. Like, let me see here. Let me choose uh, this one. See? And when I go to my first layer, that is also with the assisted, I have it mirrored. Were you one of the early Procreate adopters? Because I feel like they didn't have the symmetry tool in the very beginning. Is that right? Because then, I don't know if it was just me. Maybe I didn't know how to use it, but I remember having to like um, draw an element and then like duplicate it and flip it and put it over and try to line it up. <laughs> but this is so much easier. I don't know. Uh, well, I, I honestly get... Um, I... Um, I don't, I don't know how to say it. I, I, I get things or I, como me entero, ay Dios mío, perdón. No worries, I'm just kind of. Okay, word is hard. Okay, so I I'm just word find bonded. out, sorry, that's the word. I find out about things on Procreate when I see everyone else doing it because. Mm -hmm. That's like, okay, oh, that's new. There's always, right yeah, there's always new tips to learn, always. Yeah. <laughs> um, so let's go and look for a reference. We can have it here in Canva, reference. Another awesome thing that um, Procreate. Yeah, is it's a newer feature in Procreate to have a rep, like a floating reference photo. So I feel like a lot of people, when you don't know about, um, when you don't know about, I'm distracted because I see myself, but I know why I see myself and it makes me so happy. Doriana just drew. I just did <laughs> your avatar. You drew an avatar for me. It's so cute. I'm obsessed with it so much. It was for my birthday. Yeah. Um, and I haven't deleted the picture, but. <laughs> but the, yeah, the reference image that floats inside your canvas that's a new thing that they added so that you can like instead of using split screen just have a photo just right there it's so handy yeah so let's do a b first i found this picture it's from a um internet uh, a website called unsplash they have free images for you to use and i saw this cute B and also the flowers in the background, we are going to use them also to decorate our illustration. So I thought it was a good reference. And let me see if I can finally. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. I thought you could resize those too, but maybe from the bottom yeah. corner. No. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Cool. There you go. Okay, so now we have our B. I don't always like to do um, the sketches. I always go with um, doing the fill. Um, 
the actual the shapes. shapes. Yeah, the actual shapes. And we are going to use, I'm going to use this color palette. You can choose whatever color palette you like. I always go with these colors that are like my brand colors for every illustration I do. And I try to mix and um, mix them in different ways. And you see, for example, blue as a, as black. That way I- Yes, I do that with green. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it adds so much character yeah. to break away from black and do something just like slightly off, even if it's like a charcoal. Yeah, exactly. So I have a yellow here in my color palette, but you can also use the colors you can see from your actual reference. And I'm just going to make the shapes first. Here I'm seeing this one that is like, I think it's something like this. Oh, also I'm using, I'm using Peggy's. <laughs> Pegasus <laughs> brushes. <laughs> These are a TPL ink pack. I always I always like to use something that is like really textury in the edges, like you can see here. And I like to use this one, ink leaf, or the ink scratch one. Those are my favorite. They're my favorite too. Ink scratch, mm -hmm. especially. Yeah. So I'm just filling in. Um, let me see if I can. See, you can only use, like, you don't have to do as I did. You just have to um, do one shape, one side, and it's going to complete the other one. That's why symmetry is so awesome. But I'm going to do this shape, this one, in a separate layer below. That way I can um, have shadows where they need. <clears throat> I have a cute question. Yes. Okay. So, and a lot of my questions, Doriana, this is her first time with me live. So um, I ask questions <laughs> that I think that some other people might have. And so that's why I want to ask. And the reason why I like to ask is because I think it's really fascinating to hear other people's creative processes, because we're all different the way we think or, or similar. Um, <laughs> Now I ha I know what you're doing and I know why, but I'm curious in your mind, why do you go on a different layer to do that next shape? Okay, so I go in different layers so I can, first, if I want to modify or delete any part, I can do it and it's not going to disrupt this one. And also because I want to have um, shadows, especially in this part where it the two parts of the B meet, like the parts of the body. Um, let me see if I can zoom in here. It's, and yeah. it's so much easier to do that when they're separated because the yeah. other sheet won't be affected, yeah. Yeah, exactly, because here they meet. And then if I want to do a simple shadow, let me go to this one, a slightly darker. Let me just do a real, like I can do this and the part on top is not going to be affected. Like I can have some shadow here and it makes things so it's much going easier. to be, yeah, it's going to be um, separated visually, but I don't have to make, um, I don't like using line art. <laughs> As you can see, that's why I don't normally do sketches or I don't, that, that's part, that part like it bothers me I don't sketch before I do stuff like this either <laughs> no, I, I don't like it so that that way I can have um certain like degree of separation without actually having to make a line in it okay I have another question that someone might have maybe yeah you guys <laughs> feel free to ask questions too I will relay them to Doriana um so what is your reason for not using color fill because you are coloring in? Oh yeah, because I like to have um, texture in the shape itself. Like I, yeah. I can do this, but I, I don't know. It's like not my type of thing. Yeah. Also, I like, 
I use texture brushes because of that. I like the texture that I can have those white spaces in the middle. I don't mind having them. It's like I was drawing with my color pencils live. Yeah, I like the texture a lot too. So that's why I always color myself. I don't mind the those um, white gaps, white spaces. I think it's almost more preferable because it makes it look more organic and less digital. Yeah. <laughs> that's or why I like, like really cool digital. <laughs> so what I'm seeing here is this shape is a little bit more, um, I don't know, narrow. Oblong. Yeah. Yeah. That's, the <laughs> that's, a, that's a new one. Look, you <laughs> taught me symmetrical and I can help you with oblong. <laughs> It's like oval, but it's, you know, oblong. Yeah. And now I'm going to create another, let's see, another layer for this part of the beat. Okay. This part. And it's going to be on top of this one. Um, I'm going to do it with the yellow. You're not seeing anything because textures and shadows, you're going to give them um later on but i'm going to do it in yellow because i am seeing here that it has yellow um like the it, it, i don't know it's be just do, um do we have fur um what like i don't know the hair i don't know what <laughs> it's like yeah i mean i would say like <laughs> that's a good question if fuzz hair, you just call it fuzz, fuzz. Yeah, that, that fuzz of the me. <laughs> so I'm doing that shape. Let's see. In comparison. Mm, no, wrong. There. Now I'm going to tell, Doriana's a brilliant artist. I don't need to tell her this, but I'm just going to tell her so that I can also tell everybody, you guys, you don't need to strive for perfection in these shapes. Like no. you can just go with it. <laughs> and then I also want to answer Maria that, um, I don't, so here's the thing when we go live, I don't know how long they last. They're approximately an hour, but they could go over or under, but usually over, um, <laughs> this exact link that you're on right now, there will be a replay indefinitely. So you can jump on and, and hop back in. However, it's not as fun. It's not as fun to not be live. <laughs> <laughs> it's better to be live. Yeah. Because we like to hang out, but yes, yes. If you need to jump off, you can totally, um, we're, we're going to be here. Yeah. So let me see. Okay, I think that's the basic shape. On top of it, we're going to be doing all these other cool and awesome beat shapes. And now for the for the wings, let me just. I'm going to do another um, another layer. I'm going to put in drawing assist. And then place it on top of this one, of the middle part of the bead. And so that's so it tucks underneath one of the layers. Yeah, it's going to be underneath the head layer, but here it shows that is it that it is showing on top of this part here. Um, this is the part where I put my background layer because I want to see the transparency of the, of the wings. So Ooh, yes, one it. Today for create is not on my site. <laughs> I hate when that happens. I have that happen so much and it's oh like, my God. what's funny is like live. It's the best because then people can feel like, okay, that's not just me, but <laughs> I, feel, I can't tell you how many times where I'm like, okay. So anyway, I try to save it. And then I'm like, no, I'm going to have to edit this out completely. <laughs> or like, sometimes I'll be in the middle of something like, do I just forget how to do this? And then I Google it real quick. The video is running and <laughs> Me too. That happens to I'm me. the best. <laughs> okay, so let me. Um, I don't know which color to use for our background. You can always change it. Yeah, but... you can always 
changing. Oh, I like that right now anyway. It looks cool, right? I like colors from or the of the background to pop with the colors I'm using for my main um, illustration. But I have to see how this red is going to be contrasting with the dark blue. So let's leave it for now. <laughs> Um, so now I'm going to use this one. Yeah, this layer. What? There, clear. And we're going to um, use the white, our uh, white color for the wings, and then we're going to lower the opacity. That's just as easy as it sounds. <laughs> um, and in this case, we just have to do one side because it's going to be mirrored with the symmetry tool. Let's see, I can do this. And well. Does it look like wings? <laughs> okay, let me see if I can fix that. Okay, was I just muted that whole time that I just talked? Uh, maybe because I didn't hear you. I think I was, I think I was on, oh no, I was. And I pressed a bunch of spaces in the chat again. <laughs> I was saying, no, you made your own special wings. They're so cute. They don't have to be perfect. They're so characteristic. But then also I said, which is not important at all, but I was just doing a commentary, how funny it is, like how I'm not a symmetry person, but when it comes to like insects and like these, you know, overhead, I just am obsessed with it. I just love the way that it looks so much, but it also reminds yeah. me a lot of folk art. I, I'm just going to leave them. Well, no. <laughs> Oh, don't worry. <laughs> like for me, proportion is really, uh, I don't know, maybe it's the architect in me and I'm like, it doesn't oh yeah, it you guys, good. it's so true. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Archi architects that are artists. Oh man. You know, do you want to know what I'm seeing? No, that's good. Um, the top <laughs> of the wing is flatter than the bottom it looks like. So I think maybe that's what you're hung up on. <laughs> yes. If you really care that much. Yes. Like there it is. There's something I'm I'm not seeing. Okay, let me let me just do it. <laughs> Guys, no, it's great. That's why I was nervous because lives made me nervous. I how do I say like I uh, is it stall? I don't know. In Spanish or or in Dominican Spanish is divareo. It's like I go in to way too many places and I don't know what to finish and what to do. <laughs> okay, so let me see. Yeah, Here. I have, I need to stop toggling and then pressing all the spaces. Because <laughs> I like talking back to you and it's just like you're in silence and I'm the only one that I'm just like, why is she not responding to me at all? Well, Peggy, I wasn't listening to you. <laughs> This is great though. It's so great to watch somebody else's process because like, I know, I know this low very much of trying to like, you see something in your head, but it's like not translating, but you're, you got it. Everybody else is probably in the same boat okay. unless you're doing an awesome beetle. Like I requested. I'm, I'm, I'm so gonna leave this like it is because Nikki said that's a wasp. The picture is a wasp and not it's a bee. A wasp? Okay. Is that, is it for real? Oh. I don't know. My fault. <laughs> no, I feel like oh, because maybe it's like a curved. Is it curved down, and that's why it looks like a B? Maybe. But I, I don't know. I haven't seen wasps that pretty. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? They're usually really long. Ooh, ooh. They're usually really oblong. <laughs> oh yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so. I'm just, gonna, I'm just gonna leave it. I just want Doriana, I want you to know that they can't see us. They can only see what you're doing. So when I was eating my breakfast sandwich a minute ago, 
so rudely nobody saw that <laughs> oh okay <laughs> nice nice I can't stop thinking about it and feeling self-conscious like Dorian thinks I'm this like slob honestly I wasn't even looking <laughs> oh okay, my yeah so oh yellow jackets are not these question mark exclamation point what really? I love random facts and I know that's not random but like I love learning this kind of stuff. That is news to me. Really? I didn't know that. Okay, so then me neither. I'm going to stick with that shape, I guess. Maybe I I'll change it later, but I don't know. So and Lisa, Lisa's asking why would a new layer not have the drawing assist? And sometimes when you create new layers. I think most of the time, right? It's because when you set your drawing guide, it is thinking that it's applicable to that layer specifically. So yeah. you would have to turn it on to the new layer so that it also um, works for that one. Because like sometimes you're going to only want it to apply to one layer, even though I feel like for us, that's like rarely the case. Uh, I wish there was like a universal setting for everything, but I mean, there might be, but as far as I know, same with Doriana, you have to toggle it on, on each layer. Yeah. Crockery should work on that <laughs> because it is a pain in the ass sometimes. Like for this, for example, I just put uh, drawing assist on. I just turn it on for the first layer because I did the head and it wasn't on. So it's not symmetrical as the other parts of the illustration, you know? Yeah, totally. Exactly that. Um, Dana just said the triangular black design is a wasp slash yellow jacket and bees have straight black separated stripes. I am so excited to learn this. Thank you. So we're doing a drawing of a wasp. <laughs> this is so like, I had no idea. Forget the bee. <laughs> Thank you. The more you know. <laughs> well, they like teach you from like kindergarten up that like a, when you think about a bee, you think about a yellow jacket. Like that's what you think of. So this is this prompts a question for those who know. I wonder. So when people are afraid of yellow jackets specifically because they sting so much, they're like, oh, I'm allergic to bees. Are they maybe only allergic to wasps and not bees? And do bees sting like as aggressively? Because I know that yellow jackets sting, but if they're wasps and my beautiful honeybees and bumblebees outside and my lavender, they don't sting me. And I sit there and I celebrate their existence. So do our bees just like so much sweeter, pie, sweetie pie, sweetie pies, sweetie pieers? <laughs> maybe, maybe they are like gathering and saying, okay, wasps are <laughs> they are like um the meme version of us and they are saying they're like the villains yeah <laughs> everybody knows your password now um, um they are far away they're not going to <laughs> do it. I know. uh i know dana knows everything Ask me about when wasps started a nest in my bedroom a few months back. Oh my gosh. No, I don't <laughs> want to ask about that. I kind of do want to ask about that. Okay. So our next tip, I can do, see how you can lower the opacity and it's going to look transparent. Um, now we're going to be doing these textures of the wasp. And uh, I'm going to do it in a separate layer use the clipping mask and also use the drawing assist. I don't know if it's showing me great. Well, now I'm thinking about it, I might have to change my password. <laughs> you're like, you're like dwelling on it. It comes to my head. Like, unless, it's your I unless it's your password for other things, you're fine. But if it's only, like if it's, wait, if it's only your password for your iPad, you're fine because like nobody is gonna like figure out where you are and take your take your iPad. But if it's for other things, yeah, it's probably time to change your password. Damn it! No, it's only for my iPad. <laughs> oh, thank God. Okay, so let's do it with a dark blue, and uh, let's see. Yeah, I'm on the right layer. Throw in assist. 
yeah. This is so much easier with the symmetry tool because you don't have to, um, you don't have to worry if it's, oh, I don't know if it's like the same, it's symmetrical, it's it, it's, it doesn't match the other side. It's honestly, no one would know. Makes it so easy and it's like, it's just so adorable that way. And uh, let me see, because some scene. It's interesting uh -huh. to see you do like the stripes exactly as they're shown, because I feel like every time I see them, it's like any drawings of them, especially when they're like, you know, illustrative designs, they're always yeah. just like, you know, solid. Oh, I, yeah, I've seen those, those um, illustrations, like I was, how are people so inventive? Like, <laughs> they make stripes and dots and everything so cute. Let's see. You make everything so cute. Are you kidding me? Oh. I got to show you guys the avatar that she made me and I'm trying to figure out where I want to put it because I love it so much. <laughs> it was like, so, okay, I'm going to tell you guys a story. No, I'm not. I'm going to let her say what she's saying next. And then as she gets into it, then I'm going to tell you a story. No, I just created a new layer for this part. And I don't know if I'm going to, no. I was going to put it on clipping mask but I'm not going to, because it looks like if it was some kind of shell or something on top of the, let's see. It totally looks like that. Yeah. So I don't know why we miss, like said it was a B when it wasn't. Let me move this a little bit on the top. We're and this one is on top of the um, wings layer, so I don't know. I, I don't know if I'm that good explaining myself. Like, I think I'm on. I decided uh, I'm not going to tell you the story. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Why? <laughs> okay, fine. Doriana, so she's on our design team at the Pigeon Letters, and when she, the very first time she joined our Zoom call, she had the most adorable little avatar before she turned her video on that she had illustrated. And I was like, oh my gosh, I need that in my life. And I was joking. and was like, you need to draw me one or something like that. So for my birthday, she sends me an avatar of myself that she drew and it's so perfect. It's so cute. I'm obsessed with it. But then I was like, okay, but if I did, if I changed my Zoom, then it would change my email and I wonder how that would come across because I always talk to so many businesses. And so it's like, well, then there's me, but then it's like, it, so I'm like, where do I put, oh, anyway, I'm obsessed <laughs> with it. And so I'm just having this like identity crisis. Like, where do I want to be fun and cool? And then where do I want to be like sort of profesh, but perfect. not really profesh. Cause let's be real. If anyone knows me, I'm not profesh. Okay. Cute story. I know. I think I'm, I'm struggling with this. You're just in your head. We all get there. You're not struggling. <laughs> it looks awesome. I think I'm like, okay, no, but yes, but no. <laughs> Let me use a lighter version of blue. I did a new layer and assisted. And uh, let's see. For the eyes. I think no. Are those the eyes? The wasps? Um, they're uh, like they're they always look like the eyes, but I'm pretty sure the eyes are like what we can't see right now. So it's almost like let's call them. <laughs> you guys probably know this. Deanna probably knows. Nikki probably knows. Um, I'm gonna call them eyebrows, just really puffy eyebrows or like heavy lids. It's the bee's got a heavy a hooded lid. Wouldn't look <laughs> great with eyeliner. I can say that because I have hooded lids. Okay, everybody. Um, no, wait, is it called hooded lid? I should know this. I did makeup for 10 years. I'm just having, I don't know. I don't know how to say symmetrical. Okay, so I don't want to hear it. <laughs> they don't tell me about it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you guys are still talking about this and it makes me so happy. When Okay, so Blanca said, 
uh, when bees sting, they leave their stinger behind a wasp doesn't lose a wasp doesn't lose its stinger. So it can sting you multiple times. None of them like to sting you. The most painful is the hornet sting. I believe that. Oh my God. Who knew, who knew this would be the conversation? I love this. (laughs) I'm like totally nerding out about it. If we were going to, if we were um, going to draw the beetle, it would be a different story. Oh my God. Okay, so I just changed my mind and I said I was going to leave it be, but no, because that's just, and uh, yeah, it doesn't look great. Oh my gosh, Tori. Oh my God. <laughs> I think it looks great. Like, I'm always like that. I, I don't know. I know what you mean. So, let me see if we can have some texture. Sometimes I like to use clipping masks for um, things that are on top of others, just like this one. But when it comes to texture, I don't mind. Um, like destroying the actual layer. Um, I like to use the alpha lock for that because I think it looks better. You're wild, wildly out of control. Yes, I am. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, let's see if I can find, let's use for this one. I'm going to be doing this um, texture on the head. Wait, I'm doing this. But I haven't done any legs or anything. Like so. <laughs> See, that's why I don't like lives. <laughs> I love lives because it's like it may it's seriously. You guys tell me in the chat, does this resonate with your own workflow? That's the whole thing. That's why I love lives so much because we're all in it together and people who are working along can actually work along because they can actually go through their own stuff. Yeah. That we all go through. So I'm going to, um, I just created a new layer. This has to be uh, on the bottom because it's below everything. And I'm going to be doing the little legs. Are those the legs? I don't know anything about I'll call them. Yeah, I think they're legs. I just wanted to draw them. (laughs) Okay, let me turn this up so you can see. I'm doing this one. Just follow the, the direction they are going. I just do that. Everything about drawing is copying what you see. <laughs> but don't copy other people references. <laughs> yeah, don't do that. Other people's drawings, don't do that, please. <laughs> um, I guess this one is like that. Right. Yeah, you guys can totally ask questions. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to do this using the symmetrical option also because I'm not going to copy everything. Have um, creative license you have creative license every time you see a reference you don't have to do it exactly as it says like some legs are like there's one here and then there's one here and then another one here and i i I don't get it i'm just going to do whatever i want (laughs) at this point (laughs) listen you guys those are not the eyes. They are the heavy, heavy lid, hooded lid. They're it's the eyelid. How dare you? Yeah. <laughs> they're like, oh, so those <laughs> those eyes are fly eyes, but they're not. Do you see the bee? Re- the, excuse me. <laughs> How dare I? The wasp reference. Okay. <laughs> it's I just the hooded eyelid. Those are not the eyes. I just draw this. Mm-hmm. <laughs> they're like they're, oh and then stories about wasp stings I love it <laughs> <laughs> okay and this 
and I'm just doing whatever I want. Yeah, I feel like that's the my favorite part is when you can like take and like interpret it however you actually want to creatively. Because gosh, we can create hybrid creatures. We can create just about anything we want. Yeah, I think that's, that's one of the things. Here's the secret. But like that's why people like to draw them. When I was looking through Pinterest, I would I saw like so many interpretations and with colors and stuff. And I was like, wow. That's awesome. Yeah, and honestly, like when you're not the thing about looking at a reference is that it can totally throw you off and get in your head, but Like if you were just drawing, right. You could like, if you see someone else's drawing, it's like, wow, I would have never thought to do it that way. And it's because like, we have permission creatively to break expectations. You know, Becky has a layer question. When do you merge layers and when do you combine layers? And there, yeah, there, there is a difference as far as like combining could be like grouping layers. So yeah. When do you merge layers and when do you combine layers? Um, when I want to do, let me see. If I'm working on multiple elements, for example, I'm doing this was and I want to make a butterfly in the same document, I'm going to group them um, and just leave it there. Thankfully, my iPad lets me have like so many layers. And I don't have to worry about that. But if I want to, if I'm running out of layers, I may like merge these two if I finish after I, how do I say that? After I give texture to them individually, I can merge them if I finish working on them. Yeah, a lot of times you can, like a lot of times, what am I saying? The reason people merge layers and like basically flatten them into one is honestly, most of the time due to lack of storage space. So like the size of your canvas makes, so you have less layers available depending on how large it gets. But, um, I used to use alpha. I mean, I think it's great that Doriana is just so wildly out of control that she uses alpha lock, (laughs) but I use clipping masks since they became available. And the only reason why is because it gives you full control out of like each and every single element that you have available to you on Procreate so that you can make any adjustments anytime, like adjust the color, adjust the amount of texture, adjust opacity of every single element. So that's why it's good to keep them separate if you can. But honestly, like I'm the same with Doriana when it comes to texture, like I'll flatten texture when I'm happy with it. No problem, because I know that's what I want. Yeah. Well, if I see myself that I have to, I don't know, modify anything. I just um, duplicate the artwork itself. With Procreate, I just duplicate and then I start, like I flatten everything and then work on top of it. But honestly, as Peggy says, I only merge layers when I'm running out of them. And I, with this iPad, I hardly run out of layers. When I have the other one, it was a problem. And that's why I had to, like, I had to learn how to work with alpha lock instead of just clipping masks. Yeah, because that makes total sense. I ran out of layers so much that I was like, oh, no, my work process has to change and I have to dis- be, like, decisive with everything. Yeah, which is super normal. I mean, that even, that's even the case if you work on a large canvas. So, like, if you guys ever submit to um, I don't know, society six or something. And you want to make sure that you have something that's large enough to be a shower curtain. Like you have to work on a large, large canvas. So at that point you have like four layers (laughs) available to you. Yeah. So, um, I'm creating a new layer to make this, um, these lines on top of the, on top of the wing. And I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be using clipping masks for this. No, I'm not going to use clipping masks because I want it to look on top of it, not like it's cropping it. And 
I'm still using the same brush in bleed. I haven't changed. We're going to change brushes later for texture and stuff. And I'm just going over the wing. And in this part, you can have, you like, you can be create as creative as you want. You don't have to copy the exact same shape. And for thinner lines, just lower the size of the brush. And then, um, let's see, something that looks a little bit realistic, but looks cool. So Katie had a question about, and this is like yeah. totally a normal question. It reminds me actually of something that would be on that game show. Are you smarter than a fifth grader? Cause I never know the answer to any of that, but I do know the answer to this surprisingly. Um, but I love bugs, but then again, I didn't know this was a wasp. Um, how many legs is it supposed to have? So bees. Yeah. <laughs> okay. How about this? <laughs> Wasps insects have six legs. Um, a rack, what are they? Arachnids are the ones that have eight legs. So that's like spiders. Um, I think ticks and mites are part of it. Uh, so things like that, but like, those are the ones that have eight legs. They also don't have antennas antennae, and antennae, <laughs> but yeah, insects, all insects have six legs. Nice. So I didn't draw, um, uh... I, I drew it nice, right? <laughs> I did six. <laughs> yeah, no, you're. you're, you're <laughs> I was just looking at the reference and I'm like, I think that's a leg and I'm going to draw it there. <laughs> I'm just laughing at, at some here. Oh my God. Who knew? So, yes, I'm just doing this. Have fun draw the lines where you think they are or where you want it to be. You can do a design here. It is all in your imagination because honestly, wasp, they are not blue. So, there you go. Mm. I feel like this part is so meditative. Yeah, I think so too. <laughs> there you go. We have something. It's starting to look like something. Um, now we're going to be doing our texture, finally. Let me see what I can grab here. I'm going to be doing this part that is a little bit um, dark. And as I said, I'm going to use Alpha Lock. You are welcome to use clipping mask if you um, still have layers and if you want more control on that. Let's see. Um, let's go for a... Okay, this one is nice. It doesn't have to be like, it doesn't have to look like it's fur. I'm just going to be using this um, TPL spray noise um, brush in a medium size and just do some spraying. Gosh, that looks good, doesn't it? And I just do it lightly so it shows the yellow on the bottom, but it also looks like it's there. It totally makes, like, already it transforms it. So, like, you guys, when you're in the middle of your drawing process and you overthink, like we watched Ariana do, <laughs> just kidding. Um, know that you're not finished. Like, the, I swear this happens to me almost 
every time where I'm like, I don't know if this looks right. And then the minute I start adding my shading or my texture, it's like, wow, I just brought this to life. No problem. So yeah. I'm kind of a genius. <laughs> like, all the time. All the time. Almost. Yeah. All the time. Um, so in this part right here, I'm going to be doing first the yellow shape. I'm just going to grab my same yellow and move it a slightly darker value and then the spray painting um, to the size. I don't know if you can see it there. It's really um, minimal change, but I'm going to be um, darkening it, darkening it up. Yep. Um, <laughs> every time, yeah. That way you can see the transition. It's best to start with a, a slightly darker value and then build up, then just start with a dark, dark value and then you're just stuck with what you do. And it's also nice because you can add like way more of a gradient um, in yeah. the sense of like bringing the slightly darker color in to where it reaches a little further. And then each time you go darker, just kind of making it closer and closer to the edge each time. Yeah. That's what I like to do. Um, let's see here. I'm doing it, as I said, first on the yellow part and then on the blue part, we're also going to use alpha log to add texture so it looks like it's, um, so it doesn't look flat, but it looks like it's, um, how do I say it? It has volume. Dimensional. Yeah. Dimensional. Like it has actual shape. And a little bit darker. See where this part meets. I just want to make sure it looks like it's a separate shape. And that's why I'm darkening it up. And then here, there you go. I think that's nice. Sometimes when you do too much, it also looks weird. So I grabbed my dark blue, went to the layer on the top and also going to be doing the same. Um, turn alpha lock, you can do it simply with two fingers like this, you slide with two fingers, or you can tap in the menu, you look for alpha lock, here it is. It's just as simple as that. And then I'm just going to a little bit dimension there and here on top. And on the bottom. So it looks curvy. I already love that. I already love that. It's like, it's looking at something. <laughs> yeah, totally. Okay, let's move on with this middle part. Here it is. I already turned alpha lock on. And if you have history, you can have your colors here. If not, you can go back to your main color and then darken it up um, as you go. Let me just go with this one. And also you can use lighter values because there are parts that like the light it's going to hit. You can go a little bit lighter. And uh, wait, this is not right. There you go. In case you guys missed it, Doriana has the main shapes of the wasp. Or yeah. Nikki said she just looked it up and it's actually a Shetland's hoverfly. Oh um, my God. <laughs> anyway, I mean, I still call it a bee. Um, I'm not. The bug, <laughs> listen, she's got the base layer separated so that when she can, when she goes to those 
individual spots and adds the um sh- shady shading <laughs> shadows <laughs> slash shading it will only affect that one which is creating separation without having to draw lines in yeah exactly also i do it with texture like really really rich texture brushes so they have like they look like something <laughs> Yeah, I rather love, than having just like a pictures. line. Yeah. Um, and then with this one, I forgot we have, let me just go quickly with this light yellow um, impact. I'm using a water ink so I can do these shapes. Notice I didn't do, I didn't draw this shape. So. I'm just gonna leave it like that. And then let's see. I'm really see bad. already Nikki just said this drawing is looking amazing because watching it come to life is what it's all about. Thank you. <laughs> I hope you're following along too, like you're drawing with me, and we can then see it on your social media? Yeah, if you guys end up drawing along, um, in the description under the video, I put Doriana's Instagram and make sure you tag her, but also tag me because I totally want to see what you make. Please, <laughs> both of us. <laughs> oh, JJ said, is anyone else seeing Iron Man? It, and it's in the reference picture, totally the Iron oh Man. Oh my God, mask. yes. <laughs> Right? right, I love it. His mask. Oh God, you guys have like creativity on max. These uh, are the people who, as kids, watched the clouds and saw all of the animals and all of the things. And every time I tried, I was like, I mean, that's a dog, and that's a dog, and that's a dog, and that's a dog. <laughs> It happened to me. Deanna, I was hoping you caught that. I did it just for you. I said a boot and it was just my subtle nod to the Canadians here. What? Oh, so can in Canada, they say a boot instead of about. And then they also say sorry instead of sorry. Oh, yes. <laughs> There's I'm probably sure. other ones. I, I mean, I know there are. Those are the two I can think of. <laughs> <laughs> honestly for me it's it's not as distinguishable as i would totally because i had canadian teachers when i was learning english and i had um american teachers and i was like they don't sound different they all sound the same to me yeah sorry sorry my fellow canadian no i get that because i i wonder that um so alina for those who don't know, she's on our team. She helps me a lot with all of my tasks and she speaks five, like four and a half languages. So yes. I can't believe that, but I, I asked her, re- her a lot, like all the time. <laughs> well, I asked her the other day if I have an accent to her because she's like, do I have like an American accent? Like, what is it? What is that like? Is it embarrassing? You know, that kind of stuff. And she said that I didn't really. And I'm thinking like, well, I say like a lot and I drag my words on a lot. Like, is that a thing? But she said I didn't really have like a standout one, like like Jersey or Boston or something. Oh, Boston. No, I can distinguish. Yeah, but they are because, well, mostly Italian-Americans. Like when I see something on the TV and I'm like, oh, they, they, that guy has to be an Italian American because they, like the intonation they have, it's, it's different. But then yeah. for me, it's everything. Like I can't tell if you're from Colorado or if you're from like, I don't know, Los Angeles. For me, it's the same. Like, yeah. I don't know if within the United States, you have an accent. I don't know. 
I would feel that way if I actually knew more <clears throat> Spanish than mi comida favorita es el sandwich de queso asada. <laughs> yeah. Well, or tango. I can about accents because we all Latin American, in Latin America, we have way too many accents. Wait. Yeah, and I don't know that at all. All I know is tango dos gatos y tengo dos perros. <laughs> Se llaman Lucy y Billy. Y, you like how I turn my do, my dog's names into accents too. Billy y, y Franny y Edie. Oh, wait. Yeah. Um, is, is, is Poquito little for everything? Because her name's little Edie. So it'd be like Edie, Edie Poquito. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, would it wait, be what? would it be Edie Poquito or would it be Little Edie? Um, little is yeah, Little is Poquito. Yeah, so yeah. It, <laughs> Edie, like se I llama mean. Edie Poquito. Edie is just her name; it's just like a name. Oh, so okay, okay, okay. Yeah, so it's Edie Poquito. <laughs> so stupid. Oh, um, Edie Poquito. Poquito. Oh, Oh, it's Boston, not Boston. Well, where does Boston come? Boss, where does that come from? Boston. Okay, I got it. Boston. <laughs> Don't tell anyone I'm trying this. <laughs> I will just say Boston. <laughs> yeah, that's that's fair. Sorry if you can't understand me. No, you're <clears throat> you speak way better English than you think you do. Thank yeah, you. my our cat is little Edie and she's she's just a queen is all I can say about her. Oh, it would be Pequena. Mm -hmm. But wait, it Pequena Pequena Pe Edie, but I thought the adjectives came after nouns. So wouldn't it be Edie Pequena? No. Oh. Wait. You're saying she's pequen, like she's little, she's small, <laughs> or her name is actually Iris, like what? No, her name is actually Little Edie. <laughs> okay, so Little Edie is pequeña Edie. But if, but if I was saying, if I was just like saying she's little, it would be like, oh, like un gato, wait, un gato pequito, right? Pequeño. Oh, pequeña. Fine. Yeah, because little is. Oh, it's like a little small, a small like, amount. Yeah. So exactly. Like that's where it's uh, um, hablo un poquito espanol. Yeah. Okay. You but guys, you didn't know that, you were showing. I, but in, in other circumstances, little can be pequeño. When okay. you're talking about sizes. Okay. So gotcha. It's it's hard. The S pequeña. You can say, oh, okay, I speak a little English. Yo hablo un poquito de inglés. Uh -huh. Or oh, uh, de English. So I have to say de español. Exactly. All right. I've been. Oh, that you wrong. can say just I hablo un poquito español. Okay. You don't. You don't have to say de. <laughs> okay. You guys are so funny. <laughs> You guys didn't know you were coming up to Peggy's Spanish lesson today. Yeah, I'm just You're here um, giving it a little bit of texture, so don't mind me. And let's go with this one. Let's go a little bit here. There you go. Uh, I don't know. I'm still not convinced. I'm not a hundred percent convinced, but we're going to roll with it. Annie's going to teach us French now. Oh my god! Je I don't know anything. Je I don't know anything. I know that you say like <laughs> je and then other things. <laughs> yeah, je parle un peu de français, mais non. Ça me fait it's uh, been uh, such a long time that I haven't speak French, so. 
I feel, I, seen... I think I know more Russian than I know French. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I yeah. Portuguese. So yeah. Want... Lub- wait. Yeah, le bleu tvoi kapti. That's Russian. And I what think it's, that? I love your shoes. Oh. Yeah, le bleu tvoi no scare, which I think is, I love your socks. Oh. And then I think, I don't know if this is bad. So sorry if I'm saying something bad. Zaknis. I think that just means shut up. But I, got to <laughs> I think it's like meaner than that. So sorry if it was like sweary, but I didn't, I don't know. <laughs> oh, pequeño is petite. Okay. That makes sense. Yeah. Just like my body is pequeño. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Gosh, wouldn't that be cute of me? <laughs> I'm not petite. Uh, well, uh, how tall are you? Uh, I'm five four and a half ish. Okay, <laughs> but I don't know if that means anything to people because I think that other people go by just inches or something, or maybe it's centimeter. I don't even know. Five foot four inches. I'm five nine. Oh wow, that's like <laughs> that's up there. Yeah. You are like model. I, I wish I was a model, but sometimes I I don't. <laughs> JJ said, wow, Peggy, starts live stream saying I only know English and not that well. One hour in Spanish, French, and Russian. <laughs> I did say that about symmetrical. Look, you guys, look at the, the shading on the little feet. I love oh, the yeah. shading. I was shading um as I'm seeing I have like really dark parts in the end in the beginning and the end of the legs and then I'm just shading with a little bit of a uh, of an orange color so it gives more of this amber shade it has because it's not as yellow as the body so I'm here just shading you can do like whatever you want, you can color in with another color with a different um, shades and stuff. I'm just coloring in. And then I'm going to be doing another pass with the with a darker value, like more orangey. You guys really so Dan is five two, Leanne is five one. Wow, Leanne, I would have thought you were like five seven. No joke. Oh god. JJ said it's so beautiful, Doriana. Thank you. I am um, what am I doing? It is here. Sometimes I just color in different layers without realizing I'm on the wrong layer. So don't be- uh, I do that all the time. <laughs> yeah, don't feel like you're alone on this. And I have to be changing because I don't even know. But yeah, so we're shading just the legs, the, the start of the leg and the end part. And I'm going to erase some bits so it looks like a little bit um, thinner on the end side because they are not that wide. Okay. And this one you can really see because of the wing. So there you go. And uh, what else? What else? What else? Oh, the antenna. Uh, I'm going to do it in the layer on top, draw in assist. Remember, always put draw in assist because we need them to be symmetrical. So I'm just putting these two stops here and then a quick line. I just, yeah, maybe it's more. There you go. Oh, it looks like something. 
Yeah, that totally is coming to like it totally came together. Yeah. Gotta love shading. And uh I don't know, maybe I want to leave it there, or maybe I just want to shade this a little bit more with a dark shade. So it surely separates from Someone is calling at my door, but I don't want to. <laughs> Later. Okay. And there we go. We have our bug. I love it. I love um, it. I'm not going to do anything else because it's going to, I'm going to like damage it. If I do anything else, I'm going to damage it. All I want to do is um, have our background. As I said, I love these flowers, these white flowers. So I'm going to grab a white color, my ink bleed. Maybe I can, I can use the ink scratch and just do some, oh, let's put it in the bottom and then draw an assist and now i can draw these petals these few petals there you go and have our background as you can see it's going to mimic on the other side you can do whatever you choose you can do abstracts or um, any pattern you like. I'm just going to draw these flowers. Oh, who is it? Who is it? At my door. Is somebody still at your door? Um, I guess. And I don't know if it's my father-in-law. Oh, I'm sorry. No, you can go get your door and I will be happy to entertain everybody. Okay. Be right back. <laughs> yeah, do it. Sorry. This is the beauty of coming to a live event. All right. Now I'm going to sing for you all. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh my gosh. You guys are awesome. Okay. Um, listen colors. Let's talk colors. It's one of my favorite things. And I appreciate a limited color palette very much. And I actually, it's perfect that we're doing limited color. Oh, look, Dariana's back already, but I'm still, I'm, I haven't even finished a single sentence. Um, <laughs> no, I was going to say, Sorry. I have a limited color palette exercise coming up for you guys soon. Oh, teaser, teaser attack. <laughs> Who was it? Was there anyone there? No. Oh, no, they left. Okay. I think it was my neighbor from upstairs. And I think she's sending me a message, but sorry. I Did they leave you? I, I would be upset if there wasn't a gift. You know, um, it's funny because, okay, I'll put it back on you. Um, when I am home, which is always, I go to my front door. You guys, this is so stupid. And I don't know why I'm even sharing it, but this is what, this is why showing up live is worth it. Right. Um, I don't know why, but if I don't have a package at my front door, I open the door and I just go nothing like loudly. And then I close the door and I just wonder if my neighbors have ever heard or how many times they've heard me do that. Um, cause that's all I say. And that's it. I just Your open it. Tell you for the nothing lady. <laughs> I want something to be sitting there. I want to open a package. It should be my birthday every day. What's funny is that like, in order to get packages, you have to actually order things. So <laughs> like if I don't order, it, we just order so much because we run a business from home. And so usually whatever the thing is, is boring anyway. But anyway, I still get excited. 
because why wouldn't you? <laughs> uh, let's see. Yeah. Okay. So I'm just drawing here flowers. Um, let's see. Good. This is where you could, you know, people, if you're into that, if you're into this sort of thing, you could start really playing with folk art. Oh, yes. Clearly, I'm obsessed. I'm not much of a folk art. Well, it's not like I'm not into it. It's just I haven't tried it. So I don't so know. So fun. So, so fun. I should try it. I know you have a Skillshare class on it, right? I do, and it's gouache, but I mean, you could apply it to anything. There are people on there who have done it digitally. I love gouache. I don't think I could do it digitally. <laughs> <laughs> you totally could. I am, it's like on my long, long list of things I'll eventually do a class on, but you know, it's a long list, very long. <laughs> I think. Uh, Wait, hold on a second. Yeah. JJ, you might be changing my life. I have a PO box, but I don't think I realized. So you can have one that isn't temporary, like you just moved and you can do auto forwarding because I have one and I never, ever check it. And people get mad at me and they're like, have you checked your PO box yet? I've had something sitting in there for two months. <laughs> like I will, I will. I didn't know that you could auto forward existing like long-term situations. Can you really? Oh my gosh. That would be amazing. And then all of my stuff would just like come to my house and I'd never have to go check my PO box. Is this for real? Okay. I know that the chat's a little bit delayed, but I'm just like, mm -hmm completely beside myself with pure joy. How do the point. boxes work? Like well, they, so- they, Are they like a locker that you- Yeah, like at a different location so people don't have your home address. Okay. Um, or if it's like a business or something and they don't have a mailbox at the business. So you can, you can get any size box. Here's a cute tip. I don't know if this is okay to say, but- I, um, always get the smallest box be or because I never, like, I probably get stuff like once a month, if that, so I get the smallest box and they just put a little slip in there saying I have a package since I, it's not like I get packages all the time. So I don't have to pay for the big one because I just pay for the small <laughs> one and then they hold it in the back and I'm like, I have a slip. <laughs> like, here's your package. Okay. Because I always heard people like, oh, my PO box. And I'm like, what is that? Wait, it's a paid service. So basically you pay for a PO box and then you pay to have it forwarded. What? I'm into it. Because I pay for my PO box. Oh yeah. So you can do it at like, um, you can do it at the post office, but you could also do it like through one of those third party like shipping service places that does all of them. So they do mail, they do UPS, they do FedEx, they do DHL. Like basically you can use any service and that's the kind that I use. Um, just because I don't, I don't like the post office. Yeah. Well, that's it. JJ it's because the post office doesn't hold my packages as long. So I use, I don't know if you guys are familiar if it's just an Oregon thing, but postal annex the guy that runs it is awesome. And he's like a small business. And so it's so much better because they'll hold my stuff forever. <laughs> yeah, but they must include it in a package. I would have thought, huh? I might, I'm going to look into it regardless because that would be so awesome. Anyway. Okay. We we're done with our language lessons. We've now talked about PO boxes. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. Oh, wait. Okay. So I might've missed it. So did you turn the transparency down or did you change the color? No, I turned the transparency down because it was like competing with the wings. And I was like, no, there's yeah. something. So yes. 
So you guys can do that in two ways. Yeah. You could either change the color or if you like, like she was using white and so when you decrease, it's just going to kind of blend into the background, which is a fun effect because it makes it still like that limited color palette effortlessly. Yeah, exactly. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, okay, not working. That flower is not working. <laughs> I just want to share that as we're doing this, I whipped out my iPad because I have some edits I had to do and they're giant files. So I could only have one, two, three, four, five layers on it. But the problem is because of that, I had to flatten um, everything. And the edits I have to make are already on flattened layers and it's just like absolutely so frustrating and so I just want to tell you if you have the ability to work on multiple layers and work indestructibly it's your best friend because if you have to come if you're working for a client you have to come back you make edits and your thing is not layered it is a b not a b-e-e but a I b think that's why people work within um they do the art first appropriate and then they transfer to photoshop i know that but i didn't do that <laughs> the thing is no here's what's more frustrating doriana let me tell you <laughs> i did push it over to pro or to photoshop because it needed to be even bigger so i enlarged it over there and do you know what i did or what i did not do i did not save the files as PSD files. I only saved them as PNG and I'm so mad at myself. Oh, I feel so stupid. Yeah. I know. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm cute, but that's the, <laughs> that is the story of a designer. Yeah. It have it has happened to me. Yeah. A timer 19. So since we were talking about it, I thought, Oh, how relevant, what a time to bring that up. <laughs> Uh, I just like to draw hearts. I'm just going to finish with a heart. No, mentira. Um, I think I'm done. <laughs> I love it. I, yeah, I, it. I, no, it's so cute. And I love how the background like adds like such a whimsical effect to everything. Um, let's see. Oh, real quick. How did you get to the opacity slider? Oh, yeah. It's... Oh. Yeah, you can go to the layer and then, oh, sorry, you tap the N. Always, layers always come in N. That is normal, multi, um, how do you say that? Um, well, like, well, there's the, the normal, but then mode, there's, oh, the blend mode. mode. Yeah, blend mode. So they always come in N and then there you have the opacity slider. But also you can just tap the layer and then that's a circle and you can have the opacity uh, on top. Like you can see the values there. You tap the layer with two fingers. That way the opacity mode is going to be activated. Those I always are- forget that one. I always end up doing the layer mode one. <laughs> Amazing. And there you go. Blowing okay. everyone's minds with how easy it is. Um, it yes. Is really easy. <laughs> Procreate, please. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it Doriana, thank you. Like so- <laughs> there you go. <laughs> thank you so much. This is so much fun. And I think that everybody has been really enjoying me. There's like mind, mind blown. Um, There's so many different ways to create so many things but also like you guys watched this come to its full fruition from start to finish and you got to experience another creative's mind process through it and I think that's probably one of my favorite things about being live which is funny because I talk to everyone they're like I don't know like what if this happens and it's like no like that's supposed to happen and that's what I love about lives so much is first of all 
if any of you ever want to come live with me, I'm all about it. It's my favorite thing ever. But second of all, it's so nice to be able to like feel normal, (laughs) you know, like feel like our process is like so on point with every other creative. So yes. And it's all over the place. Like Instagram makes me, makes you think like everything is linear Mm -hmm. because you like you record yourself all oh, from sketch and then painting and then finishing and everyone thinks like oh it's so easy it's so like you you draw and it's so easy and it's not always the case like I was a if, if we were if we weren't on a live I was just I would just give up on this was right I know I yes. was about to that's one of that's why okay so if you guys have ever learned from me when it comes to like line drawing which is not this at all how I don't ever include a pencil like pencils don't exist in my world and it's because like you will put pen to paper and you will salvage what look what you think looks bad and then suddenly it's like Oh my gosh. Okay. So I'm going to give you a TMI story, but I think we can all relate here. So I was teaching a workshop with, um, a group of, I think there was like, I think there was like 12, 12 people there. And one of them, or no, it doesn't matter. One of them (laughs) was drawing and she just started cracking up and the girl next to her started cracking up. And I go over there. I'm like, what's going on? And we're drawing flowers. And she had this petal and she's like, okay, I'm going to, I'm going to censor this just because I want to censor somehow. She's like, basically this petal looks like, I don't know if it's better to say the word or say a phallic thing. Okay. (laughs) You you get what I'm saying. Yeah. And they were laughing so hard. And I laughed, I I was like, I looked and I'm like, okay, yeah, it really does. (laughs) You know, but I was like, okay, but let's look at this. Let's like take a step back and see where these lines can become like inner lines so that your petal can actually branch out here. That can become a fold, blah, blah, blah. Like we, we brainstormed through it. And then after everything was done at the end, she looked at that one and she's like, Oh my, first of all, Oh my gosh, I can't believe I drew that. Second of all, I can't believe that's the best one that came out of this workshop. Whoa. So don't be afraid to push through because look at the awesome piece that Doriana just created in front of our eyes. And she was like, like she said, was ready to like give up halfway through. So we're going to, okay, now let's start with the butterfly because that's <laughs> moral. Uh, that was like more of my aisle, but I wasn't like, I didn't want to make it um, like too predictable. I, I didn't totally. Want to. So yeah. It, it challenges not only other people but it challenges ourselves and like as as artists and creatives I think it's so important to challenge ourselves it's so fun and it's so like empowering you know um did I already say that word you get what I'm saying so uh that said Doriana thank you so much uh we won't keep you guys any longer yes to answer your question this same link that you're on right now is the replay so as soon as we press stop, uh, stop our live stream. The whole replay will be available right now. Um, my vacuum's going Mm -hmm. in there. So I feel really bad if you guys can hear that, but, um, follow Doriana on her Instagram. She, her colors, like, I know that she's more than her colors, but her colors (laughs) give me life. (laughs) You know, she's just very talented. Um, and then check out her other instructional vids. She's got links from her Instagram. I also put those, her, all of her links, um, below this video as well so that you guys can snag that, but thanks for hanging out with us. Oh, and tag us because we want to see what you created. You better tag us or else. (laughs) Thank you guys so much. Thank you.